Okay, hi everyone. So I thought I shoot a short video showing you a little bit how the game's uh, solitaire system works. I've set up the the game here, and I'm going to be playing as the Reds against the White Senate and the Blue Moderates. So here on the sequence of play, we see Senate is first to go, and uh, so when it's a non-player faction's turn, there's a sequence here on the on the play aid that we follow. Uh, if you inspect that sequence, we can we can basically see that uh, the Senate move is going to be determined by the current event card, which is a capability card. And uh, so, by the rules, uh, following the rules, Senate's just going to take that capability uh, right off the bat. Um, so I'm going to find the marker and place it up there in the in the capabilities uh, box. So that was the Senate move already, then it's my turn. I am going to be taking the activism um, command and play it as a limited, limited command. I pay one resource. The Senate resource cylinder we actually don't need and the moderates start at, at zero resources. The non-players don't actually spend any resources in this this uh, solitaire system. So my, my action is uh, just going to be rolling a die and then activating some of my guys. I got a two chest, so let's see. I'm going to activate over here and I'm going to activate there. And next up, we've got the moderates, um, non player faction. And now, a couple of things to notice about this is so, the, if you look at the sequence of play, uh, the moderates are the last faction to play, so there's nobody else left to play. And per the non player rules, they're not going to, and in these circumstances, only when they are last, they are going to make uh, use of the full command special activity option. Otherwise, they always choose either the event or a limited command option. So we're going to put the cylinder over there, and then we're going to grab the uh, moderates non player card so they are like, oops, there's a wrong card over there. So there are how many five cards in this this mini deck. So I'm just gonna give them a quick shuffle and just draw one randomly, and we see what's what's the um, uh, command over here. So this is a, this is a rally card. So the first thing we check at the top is the green condition, right? So it asks moderates cells or network cells or network available. Well, that's the case over there. If you if you look at the uh, bo uh, the available box, you can just about see it. So they've certainly got here yeah, at the game start some, some pieces available. So we got to start going through the uh, through the options here. And so it says play cells where network personality and moderates. No, that's not does not apply. One okay, uh, and so we're gonna end up with uh, a die roll there to check the um, check the. Uh, whether these these um, whether the A and B flip, and they do, so we we go to an uncontrolled space without moderates, and that would be um, with one population. We only got we've got a number of options actually. So let me just roll here the dies. Blue is the number one die, five and one. So that refers here on the. On the um, random spaces table, it refers to 51, which would be Vasa. That doesn't qualify, so we go down. Yes, we got come actually down here. So that would be the first rally space. And we are looking all to, for altogether two spaces. Uh, so the next one we check is where moderates already. So it's either here or here. So I'm just going to roll up die one, two, three, four, ten, Tamperev, uh, and the rest Helsinki. So that would be done better. So we place a second one there. So that's the command done. And then we look at the um, card further for, for the uh, special activity. It says personality, place personality. So the first one doesn't, doesn't apply. It only applies in phase one. So the second one is place personality in town with two mo moderates. So that would be this one here. So I take that, grab the uh, personality mark and drop it in there. So that was the moderates action. Next up, we adjust the uh, the order, uh, the sequence of play. Sorry. So the moderates go uh, ineligible, 
spreads centered, I get the next card up, I reveal the upcoming event. So this would be the current event. I'm up first. This looks like a fairly good event for me. Shift one space, one level towards active opposition. So I'm gonna do that over here in Helsinki. And grab a marker, drop it in there and adjust my opposition level by two accordingly. So that was my action. Then we've got the uh, the Senate. So one thing to look at is here the symbols on the sometimes also the upcoming card like such as the General Strike one has a blue has a blue uh, P, meaning that moderates would pass if they were now eligible, but they they are not. So we don't care about uh, that for the Senate at the moment, and the current event uh, is not possible. I've played it already. So being the last faction, they're gonna take the command and special activity option, and so we go to the Senate cards, and we shuffle them a little bit. And we grab one. This one is the um, applicable in phase one and send cells available. Yeah, rally. So they will be rallying. Okay, and it says in up to three spaces. So I might grab three um, pawns and, and record the spaces as I go. The first one is we roll a die to see if they rally in a space with enemies and their own pieces. No. So the second one, add Senate control in one space. Where can they add one? control with one population. This would certainly be a candidate here. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the random spaces table. Blue one again first, four, four. That gives us, four, four is over here. Tampere doesn't qualify. Hammer, no, so we go all the way around here. I know those are zero population spa spaces. Vasa down there. So I believe, yes, Turku is going to be the first rally location over there. And then we continue on the card. And the card says, uh, add Senate control in one space with zero population preference, Mikkeli. So that would be over there. So that's what they do. They, they will rally over there. I'm taking them from the wrong end, those cells actually. Okay. That was the... Um, command part of this uh, senate action and then we go down on the card have a look foreign relations it's got a bunch of conditions german vassalage is three or more it is indeed it's at three uh, first one applies if it's at four then it automatically will be uh, uh de will decline will be set one one down uh, this one only applies if we roll the die so Let's see, and no, no one, no two. So we skip, we go to the next one. Um, remove sabotage, closest to center train. Well, trains on the map only in the second phase, so we ignore that. Place prepared in prepared marker in town closest to Helsinki. Well, Helsinki is closest to Helsinki, so I grab one of those markers and place it in Helsinki. And that was the action by the Senate. The sequence of play. We adjust moderates, senate ineligible, red second. Let's get the next card on. And so on this card, we can actually see there are event instructions for the moderates. Uh, so they're gonna play this, it looks like. So they're gonna play the event and it says resources plus three. So we adjust from zero to three. And then it says place an available moderates network anywhere. And now I believe if I was going to look into the uh, event instructions, it would say place where there are the most moderates already. So the network will go over here. That was the moderates move. And then it's my turn again next. Okay, my turn. So I'm going to take uh, this time. Hmm. Oh, okay, so I'm going to... I'm gonna do the same thing like I just did, which is not ideal, but I have to get some more active guys on the map. So activism, just a limited command, active, uh, activating some of my guys on the map. Oops, that was a hit. So once again, I roll only two. I, I must activate evenly. So let's activate here. The moderates cannot hurt me in that active state. And over here, 
here I might be ready to kick the Senate out of this town, so that would be my action. And once again I'm adjusting the uh, sequence of play. Senate return to available from, uh, sorry, eligible from ineligible. I go second, the moderate's third, and the next card is a capability event, Senate first, so they're gonna do a die roll based check. So they've got only one, already one uh, capability times two. So I need to roll three or higher for them to take this capability. And I do, so they take the capability. It says German Vassalage plus one. So that is something that a player would think very hard whether they want to do that, but the bot just thinks ah, it's, it's gonna be all right. And then they get the very powerful uh, Jäger a capability marker which I got somewhere over here yep. and it goes here into the box they're going to be placed on the map in the second uh, phase of the game next it's my turn as the Reds uh, what's the upcoming event hmm. potentially a bit difficult but I'm, I'm gonna know I'm gonna I'm going to have to do something about the uh, situation here with the Senate. So I'm going to do terror operation over here and I'm going to do a terror operation uh, maybe over here and um, I do my special activity first. I'm going to place a prepared marker over here in Helsinki. The advantage with the prepared markers is that um, Terror is not able to remove uh, these the last piece at such a marker. So, for instance, I'm not able to remove this. That's why I'm not taking a terror command here in in Helsinki. Over, uh, sorry, here I'm removing one moderate piece. So this one goes to available, cost me one resource, and polarization increases by one. And over here, I'm removing the last senate piece and once again polarization increases and it costs me one resource so I'm gonna leave it at that I don't have so many resources anyway to play with this one becomes reds controlled this one actually is a senate controlled space meaning that they are victory for the time being at least the victory conditions marker goes up by one and um, one thing I need to check as well is to adjust the total number of cells on map. So I combine the number of uh, Senate cells on map. So empty slots, the number of empty slots will give me the number six plus what it says here in the red is by the on the in the reds box uh, nine six plus nine fifteen. So this marker goes up to fifteen. All right. The last faction to play uh, the moderates can't play the event even though there's an instruction symbol they'd be wanting to play that event uh, there's no passing going to happen because of no symbols there so they're just going to take that limited command option so let's remember limited command just one space so I'm going to put the pawn there so that I remember so once again I grab the cards I shuffle them shuffle them a little bit and I pick let's say this card so it says phase one message is the one that we're going to be doing but it says here phase I believe this doesn't apply phase one and five moderates or personality on well the personality is on the map so this does apply actually message with up to three cells never la with last you know they don't they have certain pre um, prelim preliminaries here that prevent them from doing stupid things so get exactly one uh, three three moderates two personalities they've got only one there so they're actually going to take a hike oh sorry but we're doing a limited command so they can't actually move the necessary number to get three there can they get two to a network they can indeed so uh so the decision is who's gonna go it's gonna be a random decision so let's say it was that one and so that was already their um, um, limited command and once again I'm adjusting the eligibility reds uh, moderates first senate and 
then we look at the next card, which is a propaganda card. So that fits. We've played the first campaign now. So let's have a look at the propaganda round. 